guys, welcome to my very messy kitchen where I'm currently planning my next travels with my toddler baby son and trying to solve the dilemma of what kind of milk and how to bring milk onto the airplane with a toddler. I have taken over 30 flights with him now in his first year and a half of life, but never since, not since really seriously starting to wean him. So I've always kind of relied on breastfeeding him on the airplane and that's not gonna really be an option anymore. So he mostly relies on fresh cow's milk. And so I've been frantically looking at all of the different options for cow's milk and how to bring that on an airplane and kind of what the rules are. So I'm gonna break that down for you in this video. Ultimately, it comes down to about four milk options for toddlers two of which I think are gonna work really well for me, for our situation. Every baby's different, so I hope that one of these four options will work really well for you. So I'm gonna put my camera down and talk us through the options and going through security with milk with a toddler and how we can best get this done with the least amount of stress. So first of all, what not to do, absolutely do not assume that there will be milk available on the airplane for your toddler or that there'll be milk available at the airport or past security or whatever. The first problem with that is that you could be running late. You never know how long things will take. You might have to run for your flight, especially if you're in a layover and you don't wanna have to rely on looking for milk somewhere at the airport. Although we have done this and in a pinch it's worked if we could manage to find a cafe or something, but you don't want to be reliant on that. And the other thing you don't want to do is to use a type of milk that your toddler has never ever tried before on the day that you're traveling. Make sure that you try it a couple, have your toddler try it a couple of times at home. Make sure that he likes it and that it's going to work well for your travel day, especially if you happen to have a picky toddler on your hands like some of us. A quick note about bringing liquids through airport security onto the airplane with you in the US and Canada. Just in case you don't know this, double check, triple check the wording on the TSA websites for whenever you watch this video, just in case there's been any updates. But as of recording this video, you are allowed to bring a larger than normal quantity of liquids, bigger than that 100 milliliter that's usually allowed if you have a small baby with you um, or toddler. You'll find that some airport security agents don't know this and there's been all kinds of accounts of parents being stopped at security and they've had to actually prove it themselves, bring up the, the TSA or the security website on their phone and show it to the, the gate, the, sorry, the security agents to be able to take their baby's liquid on the plane, which is really unfortunate, but just be prepared to advocate for yourself. Make sure that you have the website or screenshots of the website on your phone or print it out, just ready to show any of the security agents, just in case you run into any issues, but you are allowed to bring milk onto the plane for your toddler. The only thing is that you might be subject to an additional search or pat down, which is kind of crappy, but you are allowed to bring these things onto the plane for your baby. Let me know in the comments down below if you've had any issues with this before. I personally have not. I've so far been able to bring milk through security without anybody giving me any trouble, but I would be really curious to know if this has happened to you and how you dealt with it. Okay, so the four options that I know of for bringing toddler milk onto an airplane are first of all toddler formula so you know in a pre-measured baggie or something is probably best so that you can have the flight attendants help you make it on a plane request some warm water and some toddlers won't tolerate formula if they've never had it before so make sure that you let your toddler 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 <laughs> taste the toddler formula in the weeks leading up to your flights so you know that this is a, a good or bad option for them the other side of this is to use some kind kind of whole powdered milk, which I know is available on Amazon. I was thinking about going this route. I thought that it was maybe the most appealing for us just because it's lightweight. I don't have to deal with any kind of liquid problems going through security, but what I hesitated on was the price of this. It's pretty expensive, at least where I am right now in Canada. Formula, toddler formula, or powdered milk. So I just need a small amount too because my flight is long, but I'm going to family. We're going to see family and we know that we're at our destination we'll be able to get, you know, like normal fresh whole cow's milk. So we only need it for our flight duration. This powdered milk or toddler formula option may work well for you if you need to bring a a lot of it with you, you know you're going to a destination where you may not be able to get fresh milk when you arrive, so this might be a great option for you in that case. Let me know if you've tried whole powdered milk before and what it tastes like, what your toddler thought of it. I would just be really curious to know how this went over in the comments. 
The second milk option and the one that I think I might go with is shelf stable milk. So this is just milk that is good on your shelf until you open it. So it's liquid milk, but you don't have to keep it refrigerated until you open it. So I'm thinking of just bringing one carton of this. I know that it's available at Whole Foods and maybe at um, Safeway in Canada. I'm not completely sure yet. You can also find this on Amazon. I know that my son likes oat milk and almond milk as well, so I think because it's just for the travel day, maybe I'll bring a plant-based milk. If I can find a whole milk version, I'll bring that. But the only negative with this is that going through security, I'm probably going to have to have that additional pat down or um, whatever so they don't open up my milk. Okay, and your third option, one that I also like, and I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do the shelf-stable milk or this one, is to just pack your regular fresh cow milk or whatever milk it is that your toddler usually drinks and pack it into a thermos. Um, this is my thermos that I always use. It's just like the old-fashioned Stanley one, but it's really good. It keeps things hot or cold for 24 hours. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just pour. I, this one is really big. It's one liter, definitely um, more than we need for the flight, and it will keep it cold the whole journey. If they want to open it at security, they can. It's not going to disturb it if they just want to look in it or whatever and close it up. So maybe actually that might be the best option for my situation because we're we have like a five or six hour flight and then like a two or three hour layover and then another two or three hour flight after that, plus the car rides at either end. I think that'll be. Uh, decent definitely under 24 hours, so I think that option might work really well for my son. By the way, this is my YouTube channel all about taking adventures with your family, traveling with your family, and raising your kids to speak multiple languages. If those topics are of interest to you, please remember to like this video and subscribe. And the fourth way to bring milk onto the plane for your toddler is maybe the most obvious one, but for some reason it feels more complicated for me. It's just to bring a cooler, a small cooler that'll fit into your carry-on with ice packs and pack your regular breast milk or cow's milk or whatever it is, whatever kind of fresh cold milk that your toddler drinks. I keep saying toddler, I feel like. <laughs> the only issue I see with this one is that there is explicit language on the TSA website that says that if the ice packs, if ice packs that you bring on board are even like a little bit slushy, they won't be allowed or they'll have to adhere to the 100 millimeter rule or whatever. So you'll have to get small ice packs that adhere to that rule. If you have like larger ice packs and they're a little bit slushy or melted, you won't be able to bring them on the plane and then your whole plan is foiled. Um, so if you do do this, make sure that you're bringing small ice packs with you because for sure they're gonna get a little bit slushy, I would imagine, on the drive to the airport or by the time you're going through airport security. I hope I helped you solve some of your milk dilemmas let me know again what I missed in the comments down below.